Hey guys, welcome back to an Exchange Blogger and in this video, I actually wanted to talk about the VSTC video editor system requirements because it came to my notice that a lot of people are talking about um, VSTC lagging uh, while they are editing their videos and it is actually true because VSTC itself has acknowledged this issue and they have even made videos on their official YouTube channel talking about how you can make your um, editor vsdc editor work faster um, but i actually wanted to talk about the system requirements first because a lot of times what happens is if your system is not really that powerful um, vsdc automatically will lag while you're editing your videos and so what i've done is i've opened up the official website of vsdc as you can see this is videosoftdev.com and this is the official website of vsdc and i am on the system requirements page of the vsdc video editor um, and we will go one by one and see uh, how you can check uh, if your system meets the system requirement minimum system requirements of vsdc all right and uh, so the first thing is of, co of course the operating system so you must have microsoft windows xp sp3 um, vista windows 7 8 10 so vsdc will work on all these operating systems so this this is pretty much common i mean we all know if, what our operating system is um this PC where I'm recording this video right now, this is Windows 10 uh, and uh, um, so we know about that. So the next minimum uh, system requirement is Intel or AMD or compatible processor with the work frequency as at 1.5 gigahertz or higher. And I think this is the main issue why your uh, VSDC video editor might be la might be lagging. All right, because my uh, system currently has uh, amd processor but what it does not have is this 1.5 gigahertz work uh, work frequency so the work frequency of my system is 1.35 gigahertz and i will show you how you can check that thing so here i am in my system and to check um, the things which are listed here uh, simply right click on this pc and uh, go to properties click on properties and inside properties you will find all the different things um, which are listed um, in the uh, in that system requirements page all right so the first thing is of course windows 10 so my operating system is windows 10 and the processor as you can see it is amd but the work frequency is 1.35 gigahertz so this is a major issue i think and i think it is com it it will be common among all of you because of those who do, do not have high systems um my uh, uh, the work frequency of my system is 1.35 but the minimum requirement is 1.5 gigahertz so that is the issue why your vsdc video editor might be lagging so you can check other things here as well so the installed memory is 4 GB. So here the uh, minimum requirement is 1 GB. So that is uh, done. We have, I have 300 MB uh, free disk space in my system. So this is done. And um, what are the other things? Microsoft DirectX screen resolution. All right. So if you want to check your screen resolution, um, so the minimum screen resolution they have listed is to, uh, 1024 into 768. So you can actually um, go to display settings. So let me just write uh, display. Let me just write uh, display settings. And uh, let me just check. Uh, what is my screen resolution so it is definitely higher than what they have mentioned so let me just quickly check my screen resolution by going inside the display settings so it might take a minute or two but let's just wait another thing is the uh, direct x i think it was direct x um, yes microsoft direct x i think if you have a uh, windows 10 operating system um, 
your Microsoft Direct DirectX will automatically be higher uh, should be higher than 9.0 C but let's just check uh, that as well but first of all let's just check our screen resolution so remember I went to display settings all right so inside display settings you can check uh, your uh, screen resolution so that's it so this is my display settings and uh, here is my display resolution right here so my display resolution currently is set to 1366 into 768 and if i just click on the drop down list here is the minimum resolution which is required which is 1024 into 768 so mine is definitely higher and that's all right so if you have a higher resolution then there is no issue but if you have a lower resolution you need to increase the uh, resolution to 1024 into uh, by 768 or even higher um, but anyway this is how you can check the display resolution by going inside the display settings um, and this is done and finally Microsoft DirectX so again uh, to check the Microsoft DirectX you can actually write um, I think it was DX DIAG so let me just write DX DIAG uh, command and um, that's it so as you can see dxdiag run command so let me just click on this and uh, inside this uh, a pop-up window will open up and where I can check my uh, DirectX uh, version so let's just wait for some time for that pop-up window to open up um, but in the meantime I want to talk uh, I want to say that this is where we are lagging in the work frequency department so the minimum work frequency which is needed is 1.5 gigahertz uh, but uh, my system has the work frequency of 1.35 gigahertz so it is definitely less and that's why I think um, even while I am recording uh, videos in VSGC uh, they kind of uh, you know slow down my editor kind of slows down and uh, I cannot view the preview properly and all those stuff happens so I think that's because the work frequency is less okay this is taking quite some time the DX um, DIAG uh, pop up to open up let's just wait hopefully it will open up in some time um, but anyway this is how you can actually check all the system requirements so I would uh, give a link of this page in the description below please check your system requirements um, it is very likely that because your system does not meet the minimum requirements your editor is kind of slowing down and uh, let's just type once again DX DIAG and uh, I hope it opens up this time this is actually the command to open up the DirectX dialog box so let's just wait for a couple of seconds if not um, maybe I would show you some other time how you can uh, uh, check the uh, DirectX uh, version let's just wait for a couple of seconds yeah that's it So as you can see um, this is the DirectX uh, diagnostic tool and uh, here under the system tab you will see the DirectX version. So my DirectX version is DirectX 12. So it is definitely higher than the minimum requirement which is uh, 9.0. Alright. So the minimum requirement is DirectX 9.0 but uh, my version is uh, my DirectX version is DirectX 12 so I satisfy all the conditions except this one right here I satisfy all the conditions except um, this work frequency condition so as you can see the work frequencies minimum work frequency should be 1.5 gigahertz but the my system has the work frequency 1.35 gigahertz so it is less and that is why I think my video editor might be lagging out but anyway um, do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel I will again see you in the next video
till then thanks for watching